hear this. His love is so long that even before we got saved, he made provision for us to get saved. Good God from Zion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you see people in church acting out of order, in disobedient, with rebellious spirit, God loves. Hallelujah. Has already been shared abroad for their lives. That's the love of God. Finally, the power of prayer teaches us that God is able, despite our circumstances, despite how impossible your situation may look at this hour, God is able. The purpose of answered prayer is that God might have the glory to Jesus Christ. If you have ever received an answer to your prayer, you have to give God some glory. If, listen, listen, listen. If there is anything the devil doesn't want you to know, it's that, it's that God is able. You see, daddy knows that God is able to do everything exceeding abundantly above all we can ask. Think or even imagine. So the devil tries to keep us away from the ableness of God by promoting rebellious spirits and disobedient spirits in our life. That's the devil. When you're disobedient to the man of God or the woman of God, that's rebellious, that's the devil's spirit. That's the devil's spirit. When you lay off on your bed on Sunday when it's time for church, that's the devil's disobedient, rebellious spirit. And when it happens, that's what the devil, he knows. If you came to church that Sunday, God may have something ready for you to receive. So he keeps you away from what God has for you. And you lay in and believe you've done something good. You see, the devil knows. If we ever come to know that God is able to do far more for us than he can, he will never succumb to his tactics and tricks again. Watch verse 20 and 21 as I close of the same chapter passage for which our text come. It says, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we do what? Ask or think According to the power that waketh in us, unto him be the glory in the church by Jesus Christ. Could I remind us then that God is able to do whatever he wills, whatever you need. And he was able, Brother Cartwright, to take a little boy's lunch off. A few loaves of bread and a few fish. And when he got through praying over it, a whole, a whole slew of people, all 5,000, were fed. Man is able to go and call a dead man out of the grave and put life back in him again. What? God has done for others. He is ready to do it for you. There is nothing too hard for God in your life. I don't care what you're going through now. What God done for others, he will do it for you. See, some of us believe that that was for them. But can I tell you, mother 
Ah, yes. The financial situation may be grave. And uh, it seems that the more you try, the worse things get. But I come by to tell you that this is when God does his best work. This is when you can try him and prove me now, uh, saith the Lord. If I would not open uh, the windows of heaven uh, and pour you out uh, a blessing uh, that you don't have room enough to receive, prove him now, saith the Lord.